The crisis of unsustainability is a crisis of behaviour, not one simply of energy and materials alone. The crisis can be traced back to our early cultural and educational conditioning when we are led to believe that we are somehow divorced from nature and that we can conduct ourselves however we like without any consequence. Through our drive toward a faster, lighter, brighter, more technologically advanced world, humans have wreaked havoc through our all natural systems that support life on Earth. During the past 60 years alone, we've stripped the world of a quarter of its topsoil and a third of its forest cover. In total, one third of all the planet's resources have been consumed within the past four decades. My research presents strategic counterpoints to our throwaway society by developing design tools that enhance the resilience of relationships between people and their products. These include approaches ranging from practice-led studies into the way various material surfaces age and the development of theoretical frameworks to support not the design of durable products, but the design of durable meaning and value that products deliver. In 2008, I was invited to present both written and oral evidence to the House of Lords as part of their inquiry into waste reduction. In this evidence, I presented my leading theories from the book, Emotionally Durable Design. I also urged for a reappraisal of design's role. The design system in terms of education needs a, needs a redesign, it needs rethinking. What are the values that design should be based on today? How should we be educating and training our future designers? What kind of consciousness should they have? The new paradigm of the industrial designer or the post-industrial designer has to be uh, making meaningful connections. It's more about focusing on uh, social impl uh, implications and the communications with people, making meaningful connections. And, and I think that's why it's important to me, that is the role of, of the design of the future. The MA Sustainable Design is, is born from the research, the consultancy, the writing uh, that I've been engaged with. And it's a, it's a course that we wrote here. It's one course, but every individual who's attending the course or who's pursuing the course is becoming an agent in some capacity or the other. People come from industry, successful people with great careers, but they come here for a year, they skill up, they re-identify with their passions, and they are given the space to essentially recalibrate the parameters of good design um, on their own terms. Through my consultancy with Puma, we have launched a sustainable design competition run exclusively with the University of Brighton. Being here at the University of Brighton, I think, will be a a phenomenal partnership in terms of sharing new ideas and moving the never-ending effort of sustainability forward. It's part of Puma's DNA to constantly evolve and do new things and try different things. So that's why this is a perfect marriage with the University of Brighton. I think the idea of innovating and being able to work with your hands is something that doesn't quite exist in a lot of the corporate environments. And I was actually speaking with Dr. Chapman about trying to create that type of environment within our innovation team, whether it's at our Boston facility or at a headquarters in Germany. I guess I've realized that anger for me doesn't work and that for me a more strategic kind of pathway to get into rooms and sit round tables and stand in front of the people that I need to talk to is a much more effective way to bring about and steer change.